am the marketing director, art coordinator, and a writer uh, for Lost Lauren Games. And we have the community manager, uh, Lee Baldwin, with us today. Um, and she's going to ask us some questions about our new upcoming project, The Curse of Bloodstone Isle. Yeah. Hi, everyone. It's Lee Baldwin, like she said. Uh, I've been working with a little bit on marketing for about a year or so, and I've heard a lot about Lost Lorne, and I'm really into the world. I like the idea of it. And so when I heard about this new Kickstarter coming out and, you know, finally being able to get a cool product in our hands, I just want to know more about it. And so I figured I'd go to a good source, Jenna and ask you all about it. So what exactly are we looking at for the Bloodstone book that's coming out? Yeah, so uh, The Curse of Bloodstone Isle is going to be a 5e compatible book. So, um, and what it really is, is it's kind of um, building a setting. There's, you know, some adventure, there's new monsters, new fighter subclass, which we can talk about a little later, um, and new magic items, of course, new loot. Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of introducing this new setting. And when, when I say it's 5e compatible, you can bring your favorite 5e character and play this through this book. Um, you can also use it with any other D D20 system, um, or you could probably modify it for D10 or whatever system you, you, you prefer. Um, in the, our next book coming out will be Badlanders and it will be its own system, um, uh, a storytelling D20 system. Um, it's a very easy transition from 5e to, to Badlanders, um, in my opinion, at least. I'm helping play test so and write it. So, um, but yeah, so Bloodstone Isle is a really interesting, um, unique concept. I would say the first and foremost thing is vampires. The, <laughs> the theme is pirates and vampires, and vampires. Vampires. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and um, it's uh, Bloodstone Isle is an island as a part of Lost Lorne, which is the greater world. But the unique thing about Bloodstone Isle is it's surrounded by a tempest, which kind of shifts time and space around the island. So there's a lot of really interesting things that come from that. Um, one unique aspect of the Lost Lorne world in general, but uh, it, it gets introduced in Bloodstone Isle is the blight. So getting the blight is kind of, it's kind of like a plague that drives you both mentally and physically uh, to change into some sort of monstrosity. So if you mm -hmm. accumulate too much blight, you're going to end up turning into what's called a bodger. And we can talk a little bit more about that when we talk about um, the new and exciting monsters and beasts that you might uh, encounter in Bloodstone, but it's it's going to be a very cool uh, setting. If you want to learn a little bit more, feel free to listen to our podcast, The Lost Lauren Chronicles. Um, yeah, and just follow us on all our social medias. Yeah, you can see Jenna is dressed up as her character, uh -huh. Santera Valkyrie. I am. And it's, it's pretty fun. It's a great show. It is The End by Mark uh, Rain Hagen himself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so if you like his stuff and you want to hear more about this and you can really get a good idea, you should listen to the podcast. Yeah. And you can download the pod podcast anywhere where you get your podcast. So it's Apple, Audible, uh, Spotify, anywhere where basically you get podcasts. So you gotta mm -hmm. check it out and uh, stay tuned for more on Bloodstone Isle. <laughs>